What's going on guys? Sharpshaw here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three best survivor builds to survive and escape every game in DVD. The builds in this video are going to be focused on the survival category of DVD, which is actually getting to endgame and eventually escaping the trial. So quickly before we get into this video, for each build, I'm going to explain what each perk does and why it fits well into the specific build. And after explaining all four perks i'm going to explain why all of the four perks work so well together these builds are going to be in order from worst to best three being the worst of the three builds and the number one spot being the best of the three builds but don't worry if you like the third build over the first build because they're all super solid builds that will increase your chances of surviving way longer in every game you play before we get into the build i want to list some perks that are really good for the survival category if you're going to make your own survival build these are some of the perks that you should be picking out of that all have a a common theme of survival going in alphabetical order the perks you should pick are adrenaline decisive strike deliverance hope iron will lucky break soul guard spine chill unbreakable and windows of opportunity these perks will all be really good to ensure your survival in the game they each have a component of survivability that will help you either stay alive longer or stay hidden better or escape chases easier and when you're making your survival build picking any of these perks and pairing them with an exhaustion perk will probably be your best bet because you always want to have an exhaustion perk on any build you run in dvd so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video Coming in at number three, we have the unhookable build. As the name states, this build focuses on being unhookable and being impossible to catch in and outside of chases. So the first perk you're going to want to run on this build is dead hard. Dead hard is an activatable exhaustion perk where whenever you're injured, you can click the activate button and you quickly dash forward, avoiding all damage while you're in the dash. This is really good in chases because it almost gives you an extra life if you use it correctly. If the killer is about to hit you into the dying state you can quickly dash forward and make the killer miss this buys you extra time in the chase and if you get to a pallet or a window this can even make the killer give up in the chase if you've been looping for long enough this perk is really good for the unhookable build because when you're in a chase this is your best exhaustion perk you can run the second perk you're going to want to run on this build is decisive strike i know this perk got nerfed really badly in a recent update but for an unhookable build like this one this is a really solid perk when you have decisive decisive strike right after you get unhooked decisive strike is active for 60 seconds and during that 60 seconds if you get downed at all and get picked up by the killer you get a really hard skill check and if you get the skill check you escape the killer's grasp and you stun him for five seconds so this perk is really good if you're getting tunneled and you get quickly down right off of hook you stun him for a really long time and you get to either extend the chase or even escape there are so many things that cancel ds after you get unhooked like repairing a generator healing cleansing totems sabotaging and unhooking other survivors this perk definitely isn't as good as it was before but for this unhookable build this is a perfect perk to use the third perk you're going to want to run on this build is soul guard if you get healed or you recover from the dying state you get the endurance status effect for eight seconds if you get hit anytime in that eight seconds you basically get an extra life and you get the deep wound status effect exactly like borrowed time this perk has an added bonus that if you're affected by any hex totem at all you can recover from the dying state like unbreakable so this perk is basically like a personal borrow time mixed with unbreakable at the same time and this is really good in the unhookable build because if the killer has a hex totem which usually killers will have a hex totem you get to use unbreakable and recover from the dying state avoiding getting hooked and if you do get healed back up from the dying state right as the killer is coming over you can easily escape with the mini borrowed time that soul guard offers if you're not a fan of soul guard or don't have soul guard you can also run unbreakable to make use of recovering from the dying state once per trial which is always really really clutch the last perk you're gonna want to run on this build is windows of opportunity windows of opportunity lets you see the auras of breakable walls pallets and windows within 20 meters of you this perk is really good because when you're in a chase you get to see where the nearest window or pallet is so you always know where to go in a chase you won't ever run into 
into an empty zone with no pallets or no windows. You'll always have a pallet to loop around and a window to hop over. This makes chases so much easier and extends them so much longer. So in the unhookable build, being able to loop for a really long time suits this build perfectly. If you're an experienced survivor and feel that you don't really need windows of opportunity, you can add your own perk to this that suits your playstyle, or you can also run deliverance, which doesn't really fit the unhookable build because you'll be hooked to use deliverance, but deliverance is really good because you can unhook yourself if you had previously gotten a safe unhook on another survivor. So this is really useful if nobody is coming back to help you or you want to confuse the killer and quickly jump off of hook on your own. So these four perks in Dead Hard, DS, Soul Guard, and Windows of Opportunity all work super well together in the unhookable build because they all have an element that keeps you away from the hook and keeps you away from dying. Dead Hard gives you the opportunity to extend chases and even escape chases if you use it super well. DS also does the same thing and comes in really clutch if you're getting tunneled off of hook. Soul Guard acts as an unbreakable and personal bar of time. This can come in really clutch if you recover from the dying state with Soul Guard and the killer is right there and tries to hit you and you can easily escape. And finally, Windows of Opportunity ties these all back together and helps you loop the map so much easier. Coming at the number two build, we have the Untrackable build. This build focuses on survival in a more defensive and stealthy approach where if you do get into a chase with the killer, you can easily escape and hide really well and you can stay out of the way from the killer. So the first perk you're going to want to run on this build is Sprint Burst. This is the exhaustion perk of the build which lets you sprint at 150% of your base running speed for 3 seconds if you're not exhausted. This perk is really good inside and outside of chases. Outside of chases you can run around the map really quickly and move from objective to objective really easily. This is also good to give you a huge head start in chases. If you're on a gen for example you see the killer coming at you, you can get a really good head start. Inside chases chases you can also 99 the exhaustion meter let go and then run again and get your sprint burst and zoom away from the killer and this has a really good element of surprise inside of chases and it's like a mega dead hard the second perk you're going to want to run on this build is lucky break lucky break recently got buffed like crazy and it's actually a really solid perk now right when you get injured lucky break hides your bleeding and scratch marks for 45 seconds at tier 3 this perk is really good in a chase and lets you escape really easily from chases because the killer can't track your bleeding or their scratch mark so you basically become invisible for 45 seconds which lets you escape your first chase really easily the third perk you're going to want to run on this build is iron will at tier 3 iron will muffles your grunts of pain when you're injured to 100 percent so you're basically silent noise is super important to the killer when tracking survivors so if the killer can't hear you when you're injured this is really good to stay away and stay hidden from the killer overall. The last perk you're going to want to run on this build is Spine Chill. Spine Chill is a really good information perk that lets you stay away from the killer and know when the killer is coming in your direction. When the killer is looking directly at you within 36 meters, the little perk icon in the bottom right lights up, which tells you that the killer is actually looking at you. And during that time, you also get 6% action speed bonuses at tier 3 for a ton of things like repairing gens, vaulting, unhooking, healing. This perk is really good inside and outside of chases. Outside of chases, this gives you the opportunity of being really stealthy and staying away from the killer. For example, if you're on a gen and you see this perk light up, this probably means the killer is coming straight at you. So this gives you either a head start in a chase or it gives you the opportunity to hide from the killer. And then when he goes away, go right back on the gen. Inside of a chase, the bonus action speeds can come in really clutch, especially the unlocking speed. That extra 6% can really mean the difference of escaping the trial or or not opening the exit gate at all. These four perks work really well in the untrackable build because they all work in enabling you to stay out of the way from the killer. Sprint burst gives you really good and quick map movement inside and outside of chases. Lucky break and iron will are a super super good combo because when you first get injured not only are you silent but you don't have blood trails or scratch marks so your first chase will be the easiest to escape because the killer will not be able to track you. Spine chill ties these all really well together because you can avoid even getting into chases in the first place and save your lucky break for as long as possible by staying out of the way from the killer. Coming in at number one, we have the beginner survival build. This build is really good for beginners who don't have that many perks unlocked 
and don't have any DLC. So these are all going to be free perks. The first perk you're going to want to run on this build is Sprint Burst. This is the exhaustion perk of the build. And as I explained before, this perk will give you super good map movement inside and outside of chases. The second perk you want to run on this build is Adrenaline. Adrenaline is a really good end game perk where whenever the exit gates are powered, which means when all of the five gens have been completed, you instantly heal one health state. So that means either going from the dying state to the injured state or going from the injured state to the heal state and you also get a sprint burst at 150 percent of your running speed for five seconds you get a mega sprint burst on top of healing a health state so this can be really really clutch if you're actually in the dying state when the exit gates get powered or if you're in a chase and you're injured you can heal and extend the chase even longer and even escape the chase with the extra sprint burst you get the third perk you want to run on this build is spine chill as i explained before spine chill is a really solid perk if you want to stay out of the way from the killer or get a huge head start in your chases the last perk you're going to want to run on this build is unbreakable unbreakable lets you recover from the dying state once per trial and when you're actually recovering your recovery speed is increased by 35 percent at tier 3 this perk can come in really clutch if the killer is slugging everybody and multiple people are in the dying state you can quickly recover and this honestly gives you and the entire squad a second chance at the game if you think the adrenaline and unbreakable combo is kind of overkill in healing from the dying state you can run iron will and be really sneaky and really quiet when you're injured so these four perks work really well in the beginner build because obviously these are all free perks to unlock so you don't need to go out and buy dlcs with money to unlock these perks sprint burst lets you move around the map really well and sprint burst combined with spine chill lets you get huge head starts from chases if you want or you can just stay away from the killer with spine chill alone adrenaline is a really really clutch survival perk where if you actually do manage to reach the end game this can honestly mean the difference between life and death finally unbreakable can also come in really clutch in letting yourself recover from the dying state overall these perks come in really clutch when you need them and when you're not in a really bad situation like you're in the dying state or getting chased in the end game spine chill and sprint burst let you survive kind of in the shadows and in chases with the action speeds of spine chill and the 99 ink sprint burst so overall this is a solid build when you're inside of chases outside of chases and in a really bad situation so yeah guys these have been the survival builds let me know in the comments what your favorite survival perk is and let me know other build ideas you would like to see in a future video so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and sharp subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video